I have completed, basically completed the framework for my 65 plant vertical and horizontal hydroponic tower solar powered. You can see my solar panels on a separate shelf that can be uh, lifted on and off to the top of the whole unit. Um, I'm using an uh, inch and a half PVC Ys, stacked uh, six per tower, uh, offset by 90 degrees, and uh, all running into common drain lines that drain down into the bottom four inch rectangular base, which will be act as my reservoir, uh, combination flood and drain, and and just flow, vertical flow. Um, got some space down below for batteries and maybe a second reservoir. Um, behind, might be able to see, I, I set up a, uh, a grow tent to, to start seedlings in and whatnot. Because it's uh, May 18th, 2020. Um, I've got a, a, a few of these rolling shelves that are going to come in handy for all kinds of things. Um, I might actually build a second plan. I'm building a second one of these as well. Um, I'd love to have it all solar powered, but uh, if I do so, some, some of the components are AC powered, so I'll have to hook up some inverters to my batteries. But that's a sneak peek. Not completely glued together yet. Uh, don't want to do that till I drill the holes in the in the horizontal four-inch tubes. Uh, there'll be like five or six three-inch holes, so I can uh, considering growing things like vining plants all the way at the bottom and uh, trellising them up through the center or something, so that they can grow up to like the upper shelf and be able to for like uh, squashes or cucumbers or just anything that likes to climb I'll, I'll plant those on the bottom and uh, fill up the space in between the plants and then all the other plants will grow out to the outside and uh, I don't know if I mentioned they offset them by 90 degrees so they, they got more room to grow without interfering with each other and that's it that's the overview for now free food for everyone forever